Recently, MSNBC posted an article associating fitness with the far right. Personally, I think fitness should be for everyone, so I want to give you guys some quick tips on how I personally fend off some of those ideas while I'm in the gym getting ripped. I usually like to get started with some cardio on the elliptical. Around the seven minute mark, you'll generally find the voices in your head will probably start to kick in. When this happens, I generally turn off the elliptical, turn the music up a little bit, give your head a little tap with one of these. Not today. If it's leg day at that point, I usually pop over to the squat rack, start getting it in. Sometimes by the squat rack, you'll notice a couple guys handing out pamphlets to join the national. Socialist Party of Germany, which will give you time for one quick set of five or six before they have time to make their pitch. With those guys handing out pamphlets, it's probably time to switch to lunges. Now, if the voices kick in again, this country, it might be time to switch to podcasts, potentially NPR or the Manifesto on tape, skipping the parts where they talk about land. And tell the voices it's going to be an upper body day today to throw them off the scent. Not today. Head over the rack, maybe crush some hammer curls, shoulder press, but still avoiding pledging allegiance to any white supremacist organizations between reps. If you stick to a circuit, you move quick, less time for the voice in your head to take. Control. If you're doing chin-ups, remember not to go all the way up because most gyms will have excerpts of mind comps scribbled into the bar and you want to make sure you don't make eye contact with that area. Back over to the dumbbells, I like to do three or four front raises, eyes closed in order to avoid eye contact with the three or four guys generally discussing ethno state. Then run out the front door, ears plugged, avoid scanning your cards, and you've successfully gotten in a pump without being radicalized by the far right.